In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom tone of voice GPT that's going to rewrite the content that you give it in the tone of voice of your company or even yourself, depending on what training data you give it. I'm going to give you an example of how this works. This is perfect for companies that want to maintain a consistent tone of voice throughout the departments like marketing and sales and whatever that is. Let me show you how this works. I've created one for Remax, just a random company here. This is there in the real estate industry. I'm going to purposely write a terrible sentence for example we got sick apartments that you can have great parties in because they give great vibes no one writes like that but this is for an example purpose and the Remax Rewriter is going to write that sentence, maintaining the same messaging, but obviously improving the uh, tone of voice. So the initial text that I gave it was, we got sick apartments that you can have great parties in because they give great vibes. The Rewriter wrote it to, our luxurious apartments provide the perfect setting for memorable gatherings, offering an atmosphere for sophisticated comfort. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an SEO agency and I also run an online community, which is the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, where we teach you all there is to know about AI-powered SEO and AI-powered automations using ChatGPT, much like I've just shown you there. You can have access to this in the link below. We also have a classroom section where you can get access to our masterclass that teaches you all about ranking with artificial intelligence. And we also have weekly meetups where you can, we have live Q and A's. You can come and ask us anything. We'll do our best to answer the question as best as possible. It's a really cool community. We're very, very new, but already the engagement there is something more than I would have expected. I'm really happy with it. So come join it if you want. The way that we're going to build this GPT is by gathering the data or the content which we want to train the GPT on. We're going to give it to another custom GPT that I've trained to analyze that text for us. We're going to create a prompt based on all that analysis and then we're going to give it to a custom GPT. So step one is gathering the data. And to do that, um, it's quite easy. There is a free tool called Gobblebot. This is completely free and easy to use. What we're gonna do is give it either uh, website links of blogs or the about us section and even YouTube links that it will turn into text files. So for example, we're going to use this about us section on the Remax uh, website. We're gonna go back to Gobblebot and you'll see that it'll start gobbling here and give you the text file here. Uh, we want to do a couple of more bits of data that our GPT can analyze and get a good understanding of what the tone of voice should be. And just to show you, we even have the ability to put a YouTube video here. I'm going to copy. This is Remax Malta as well, so the same guys. And hopefully I don't get in trouble, but anyway. Now they've got a... I can download all in one file. So this joins all the text files for us in the one document, which is great. I've got the first part. I've gathered the content nice and easy. There's a lot of ways you can scrape the your documentation in your website, obviously, but this is just a nice and easy way. And now we're going to use this custom GPT, tone of voice GPT analyzer, which we've built. It's taken us a while to get this right. Um, and all you need to do is copy the, drop the text file in there and press enter and it'll start analyzing this. This is available to all of our members within our community and it'll start providing you with a pretty deep analysis of the tone of voice, which is what we want. Now, this is going to go in one prompt, but the prompt is kind of already built for us. You just kind of click and drag sections in here. And this is the template for the prompt. I'm gonna make a copy here. I'm gonna leave a copy of this template in the description below so you can have it. So if I make a copy of this, you see that we need to insert a couple of things here. So you are, your role is to act as the tone of voice rewriter for insert name. So we're gonna put Remax Malta here. Uh, this you don't change, the task and everything. Uh, the tone of voice is something that we will change. And we're just gonna copy the exact analysis that our custom GPT has given us. I'm going to copy this, 
copy that and paste it here. And then you see that at the bottom of the prompt, I've got words and phrases to avoid. The more and more we see AI content being generated, we start seeing words that it keeps on repeating. For example, we've noticed that it always uses in the ever evolving world of, let's delve into when it comes to in today's digital world. And these phrases that we don't want it to use because we want our content to sound a lot more like us and a lot more human. You can, a good, uh, a good tip here is to recognize the words that you don't want it to use and keep updating this prompt nice and easy. So we are going to now copy this entire prompt and go and create our tone of voice GPT. You can do that by going to explore GPTs and go create. For now, only uh, premium uh, subscribers have access to create a GPT, but soon it'll be available for everyone for free. This is why it's such a good use case to learn how to create this thing because it's such a good and easy asset for your company to have. We're gonna name it. Remax Malta version two, I've already built one. <laughs> We're gonna paste the uh, instructions there and the description, this re rise content in the tone of voice of Remax Malta. Um, we're going to just do code interpreter. I find that for some reason it works better with code interpreter. That might just be me. And I'm gonna test it out. So purposely write a terrible sentence in here saying uh, we got real good penthouses that are sick for mad parties. Obviously, Remax Malta would never write like that. But if we see this, experience luxurious apartments, perfect for sophisticated gatherings through Remax Malta. Our exclusive properties offer unparalleled amenities for and stunning designs to elevate any event. Pretty good. So now, all you got to do, uh, I actually like it to create a logo for us. And you just kind of change the tab here from configure to create. It's just another way you can create this custom GPTs. And we're going to ask it to create a logo for this GPT. Kind of give it a second it's going to create the logo and upload it in this little section here nice little logo actually uh, and now you see that it should upload it here and all we got to do now if we're happy with the output that it's providing us if it isn't you might need to amend the prompt here a little bit and that's the purpose of this make it your own uh, we're going to click on create and just click anyone with the link this way it's not available publicly to the GPT store Ideally, you wanna keep this within your team because really you only use it. And this here is the link that you give to your team members. For example, ideally they have GPT Plus at the moment, but now they can use the Remax Malta Rewriter uh, to their heart's content, which is really easy. There's another version of this where you build it in the playground because then you can connect it to other flows and automations, um, which is another video altogether. If you want me to do that video, just leave it in the comments below. But I thought I'd do this now nice and easy just to do it as a custom GPT in the front end. What I mean by the other end is building it on the playground here, which we can then connect to other platforms and applications uh, nice and easy. Again, if you want to get serious about learning how to do all this stuff really easily and having all the prompts and templates and files and how to do this very quickly, I encourage you to join our uh, AI ranking and automation community. A lot of fun. If you have any questions about what we went through, including the prompts or any of the workflows, just let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And if you want to see a particular tutorial on anything to do with custom GPTs or AI powered SEO, just let me know in the comments. Peace.